What will we find in today's Thursday thrillers here on the Mutual Audio Network? A few baffling mysteries? Perhaps a touch of murder? Let's find out. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, deep in the woods, there's a city named Grimstown, where there's a great many people, some of whom it seems live a fairy tale existence. In this mysterious city is a woman who goes by the name of Scarlet Hood, and she's one real tough cookie. This time, Scarlet starts on her mission to find the Grimoires and meets a fun bunch of empirically trained nuns. Presenting the adventures of Scarlet Hood, the Sisters of Wilja, created and written by Tony Serechia. Uh, why are you boys still here? Thought I told y'all to get that chest and get over to where the kids live. We, um, wanted to stick around in case you needed our help. If I ever need help with a little rip stitch and a frail, shoot me. Now, let me call the bears and we'll get out of here. Aren't we going to talk about her offer? You spying on me, Evelyn? <sighs> Your brother's forgetting his place, Baldwin. No, Graves, I, I wasn't spying. Time was not long ago. Your job was to empty the latrine buckets. Maybe we need to go back to those days, hmm? I'm just thinking... Boy, your job ain't to think. I swear to the gods, that red-headed enchantress got her evil tentacles all inside, you. Wait, we should consider her offer. Too late, boy. The bears will be back there in a few minutes to eat them, and then maybe your head will be clear. Now grab this chest, and let's go! We should have at least talked about it. Oh! You hit me from behind, coward! What you say? Graves. You're not going to shoot him. You hit like a frail. Ugh. You don't have a hair on your chest yet, son. Who are you to challenge me? You better shoot me, Graves. Because if I get up, I will kill you. I promise y'all won't be getting up. Ugh. What? He missed. She was right. These guns are useless. Get up, Colt. He didn't shoot. I did. You shot Graves? Couldn't let him kill my little brother. That's my job. Let's hide this chest and get back to Scarlet and the child. Why would we go back? They're a bear food by now. I think Miss Hood is hardier than you believe. Stay here. I'll go. Help me put this chest behind a pair of trees. Whew. That was heavier than I thought. In the name of the gods, what is that? I think that's coming from the house. Hurry! What is... It's witchery. Graves was right. She's a red witch. Red witch? Your crab doesn't walk straight. And yet, she's bewitched the bears and acting like jesters at a court. I think that noise, annoying to us, is probably painful to the bears. That child flew out of the window? Is that enough witchcraft for you? I don't think that child flew out the window. Someone pushed him. Probably to get out of the fire. Oh, that makes all the difference. Who would push a child into a den of bears? A wicked red witch, that's who. A red witch isn't real. And the bears are over there. The child is over here. I don't... What is that? That's an extraordinarily large bird. An owl, I believe. Don't let it see you. Put your head down. Perhaps you should turn off the brooch before the entire wood is engulfed. See? Did that owl just talk? I believe he did. Now do you believe in witchcraft? I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Yes. We can reasonably guess that there is twisted and a foul magic at work here. Let's forget about the red one and get back to our goal. We've got enough to buy a ship and get into the next continent. She is going to Hanau. Maybe if we help her, she'll give us a reward. Or she'll feed us to her bird. I don't think so. She has a kind heart. Are you deaf? She threw a child out of the window and set fire to that house. She's evil. You shot our stepfather. And you're not evil. He was going to kill you. And I used a gun. Not a witch's familiar. 
we don't know what happened in that house, but we do know that she saved three children. Is that the work of a wicked witch? Maybe she's hungry. She's going to eat them later. Look, the little one is hugging the owl. And it's biting her. No, he's putting her on his back. He's going to fly them to safety, I wager. Or the Red Witch's castle. That's it. She said she's going to Castle Contus. Mother of Mockins, she's going to rob the library. I need to talk to her. Evan, no. Do not go over. Evan, no. Scarlet Hood, your plan will fail. Deputy. Excuse me. Thief Evan, what do you know of my plan? Please, put down that fire maker, and I'll tell you, you need me if you're going to get into the Contus library. Mmm, you have the tastiest rats in these parts. That makes me want to puke. I'm a carnivore. It's what I do. Well, it's disgusting. So is this hovel you call a home. But here we are. The two of you shut up. Here she comes. In Hansel's name. What are you wearing? That's the habit of the sisters of Wilja, the nuns of Contus Abbey. From what the brothers tell me, they're the only people allowed to enter the library at Castle Contus. Nuns at a library? That seems like a recipe for book burning. Not these nuns. They have guarded the library as long as anyone can remember. Is this sword also part of the nuns' uniform? These are warrior nuns, Sir Owl. They would fight to the death before they would allow any harm to come to their books. And you stole that outfit from them? From the wardrobe at the orphanage where we left the kids. No one will miss it. Perhaps not a frock, but surely a sword? Mm, You'll have to ask the brothers about that. Or perhaps you can tell me without me asking? We stole the sword from a coach of nuns traveling through the forest ages ago. You stole from nuns? Have you no fear for your soul? The sisters of Wilja are empiricists and believe the only way to know this world is by observing, testing, and measuring. They hold human intelligence above all else, forsaking spirits and other unseeable phenomena. What did she just say? They've dedicated their lives to the rationality of logic, mathematics, and ethics. They don't believe in souls, at least as far as I know. How do you know all this? I, uh, was with a a novitiate before she took her vows. A novitiate, huh? Interesting. It, It didn't mean anything. You know, saying that doesn't make it better, right? If I may... How do they feel about the theft of a book? Or three? The same. Stealing is a direct affront to their god. You said they don't have a god. No, they do. To them, intelligence is as real as a bear. And sacred. But how does that fit in with the magic books? The nuns believe the mystics are working at the edge of science. To a person, the nuns are brilliant. So you, thief have to pretend to be brilliant in order to steal three grimoires from them. I should probably fly back to Grimstown now and give my mistress the sad news. Sit down or I'll fry your wings in flight. You should probably leave the brooch here. I don't know if it's magic or science, but the nuns or the contus may sense it. And then your job will be over before you get started. What's the plan? We are going to... These two yahoos are going to get me in the gate. I'm a visiting nun. I got it from there. What's a yahoo? Where I come from, it's someone well-respected and eloquent. Well, I'm respected and eloquent. Where exactly do you come from? (sighs) Farther than you can imagine. Honestly, if I think too hard about it, it, it hurts my head. Shocking! You thinking too hard hurts your head. Hmm. Ah. 
Everyone looks so serious. That's because they live in the shadow of the castle, not the castle itself. Hmm. You're nothing like your brother, are you? Mom said I was a late in life baby. Nah. It's more than that. You're different than a lot of guys I know from back home, too. Do you know a lot of guys back home? I mean, do you have a lot of boyfriends? No, wait, that's not- Why, Mr. Evan, are you flirting with me? I, um... Oh, this is the entrance to the castle library. You'll have to go in yourself. How does my habit look? Red is a good color for you. You're sweet. What? Time for Sister Hildegard to make her formal appearance. Remember the sign. The sign? Evan. Sorry. It's hard to think, being so close to you. Anyway, right. The red sash on the western window. I'll pick you up along the east road when I see it. Good man. Don't take too much gruff from the owl. Be careful, Scarlet. Careful is my middle name. Don't think about it. One more thing. A kiss for luck. Here's to luck. Excuse me, sister? One moment, sister. I need to finish this note for the Mother Superior. How may I help you? Yes. Thank you for your prompt attention. I am Sister Hildegard, and... I've been sent here by my mother superior to investigate books on mysticism. I'm afraid you're going to have to be more specific. That entire wing has books on mysticism. That one wing over there? Perhaps I can browse on my own. You, of course, are welcome to any section of the library. But you should know there are over a thousand books in that section. A thousand? Mm Mm-hmm. A momentous task. Indeed. I suppose it's a sacrifice one makes for one's, um... One's... Edification. How do books on mysticism further one's own edification? If you ask me, those books should be destroyed and those who would print them boiled in oil. Hmm. Isn't free knowledge better than knowledge kept locked away so that only a few may partake in its benefits? Sister Hildegard, there are no benefits from studying the mystic arts. Our world is here and now, not in some fanciful spells or magic powers. I am inclined to agree, Sister Thomasina. I should hope so, given your vows. I'm going to need to see those grimoires, if only for the novelty of them. Why did you say grimoires? I didn't. I said books. No, you said books when you came in. But just now, you said grimoires. I I don't believe I did. But does it matter? I'm here to research certain philosophies, and there are specific books I need to see. The library is at your disposal, sister. However, grimoires and other practical magic books require permission from the Mother Superior. I've traveled a long way to get here, sister. Rules are what keep civilizations whole, sister. Mother Superior will be here shortly. You may speak to her then. I understand. I will be in the mysticism section for now. Please let me know the moment she arrives. You won't mind if novitiate Gisela joins you. She's close to her final vows. She can show you around and you can help answer her questions. Certainly, novitiate Gisela is welcome to shadow me. Shadow? What an interesting choice of words. I've never heard it used in that context before. Why the Sisters of Wilja? I don't understand your question, sister. I mean, why do you want to be a nun in this order? Oh, because the love of knowledge is the purest love of all. How old are you? Sixteen, this harvest. Sixteen? And you've been a novitiate for how long? Two years. I've always been bookish, as my stepmother used to say. She and father believe the Sisters of Wilja is a perfect place for me. And what do you believe? I believe that the sisterhood is a wonderful way for a young girl to become a woman. After I take my vows and spend the required time cloistered at Wilja Abbey, I'll come back here to be assistant to the librarian. Is that what you want? I am happy to serve in the quest for knowledge in any capacity, except... Finish your thought, Gisela. I don't want to be 
an Inquisitor. Why not? Uh, May I speak my mind, Sister Hildegard? I should hope that's what you've been doing. I think some of our punishments are not suited to the crime. Which punishments? Are you testing me, sister? I can recite our discipline and re-education catechisms by verse if you'd like. There are that many, are there? Hmm. I've no doubt about your memorization skills. What I want to hear is your opinion on what you've learned. I... We don't speak of mercy for those who have strayed from seeking the truth. Only punishment and re-education. But the punishment sometimes seems so severe that we don't leave room for the fallen to reconsider their actions. Branding is a permanent mutilation to remind someone of a small infraction. Branding someone as if they're cattle is a horrible punishment. (sighs) I am so glad someone agrees with me. I tried having this discussion with Sister Thomasina, and she dismissed it as the heart of my youth. (laughs) Listen... I'm not going to be here for long, but this is the one thing you need to remember. Hang on to your youthful heart. It's going to be difficult, but don't lose your ideals or your heart to some dogmatic mythology. (laughs) You don't sound like most of the sisters of Wilsha. That's because she isn't. I am humbled in your presence, Mother Superior. Stand up, child. Will you both accompany me to my office? We have many things to discuss. Do we? A discussion is the rule any time someone shows interest in the forbidden grimoires. And rules keep civilizations whole. T, hmm, please. What is your interest in the forbidden grimoires of the Fabula Divinando? As I told Sister Thomasina, I'm a researcher, and my current project brings me into the mystic arts. Project... What an interesting word. With which sect are you bound? We are a small convent. You've probably never heard of us. I know every convent on the continent, and almost every nun as well. Yet you, Sister Hildegard, you, I do not remember. I am very conspicuous only in my inconspicuousness. Your humbleness belies a keen mind and knowledge that seem out of, well, time. I'm not sure I follow. The way you speak, your phrasing, it is as if you are trying to fit in with us, but you are from somewhere far away. My convent isn't on this continent. It is quite a distance. No, no. It's almost as if you are from another world or time. I am at a loss for words, Mother Superior. I do not think so, sister. I have the feeling you are never at a loss for words. A clever mind is a gift not to be squandered, wouldn't you agree? It would depend upon the intention of the person with the clever mind. What is your intention, sister? Research into the musicality of magic. Well, that is an interesting take. Yes. I've noticed in other magical books and texts that I've read that there seems to be an almost musical component to the spells, and I want to see if that extends to the basis of magic itself. There you go again, with your strange way of wording things. Books. Makes perfectly good sense, but texts? It makes perfect sense, text us from the superior language, but your usage, very curious. One could almost say, lyrical. I've never been told my word choice is lyrical. Thank you, Mother Superior. I meant it to be more cautionary than complimentary, sister. You are not the first person whose curiosity about the connection between music and magic put them in the seat you now sit. Well, I I certainly... Yes, Sister Hildegard, do continue. Uh, I am here. Here. Why does my tongue feel like a marshmallow? I have a feeling you are not talking about the herb marshmallow, are you? You grow marshmallows here? What an awesome place. Yes, I haven't been completely honest with you, but given your ruse, I think you'll understand. Um, 
not feeling so well. It is a side effect of the herbs. You see, Gisela is blessed with a perennial youthful appearance that belies her true age and maturity. She is one of our finest inquisitors. And you, you are not who you claim to be. To me? What is your real name, child? I am sister. Stop. <sighs> You will find that things will be far less painful for you if you just tell us the truth. Shizella. I also told an untruth, Sister Hildegard. I am well suited to my task as a re-educator and inquisitor for the Order. Now, we've all shared an untruth. It's your turn. What would you like to unburden from your mind? You have the most intense blue eyes I've ever seen. They're, they're like ice cubes. Do you know what she's talking about? She just says things that sound right, but I've never heard of them before. What you got there? Just, just, just. <laughs> I crack myself up. <laughs> oh. I hope to avoid using these. Whew. Me too. Those are painful. Let's start easy. Are you really a sister of Wilja? I am not. I didn't think so. I'm going to remove your headpiece. Okie dokie. Fair warning. Haven't washed my hair in a while. Gonna be a bird's nest up there. Dangerous birds? <laughs> no. It's a m m meta... M Metaf- I'm exaggerating. Ow! Easy! That's real hair under there. What is your name? Scarlet Hood! But I like it so you can call me Lil Red and all my friends call me Lil Red. I see. Miss Hood, why do you really want the grimoires of the Fabula Divinando? Oh, I don't want them. What would I do with them? <laughs> why this offensive and elaborate subterfuge? Well... I'll tell you, Jizzy. Can I call you Jizzy? I got set up and took the fall for a murder rap. It was looking pretty dicey for you, girl. Then at the last minute, this old dame literally saved my neck with a giant bird. In exchange for my freedom, she wants me to get the grimoires. I don't even believe in magic. Think what you said is that you were accused of murder and someone saved you before before i had a deadly kiss from madame guillotine interesting for whom do you work i'm sleepy i may just rest my eyes for a few minutes not until you tell us who sent you this old broad she's like 120 years old lives in a castle and everything does she have a name Oh, hey, Superior Mom. <laughs> You're still here. Yeah, Dame Gothel. I don't know her first name. Dame Gothel, are you certain? <laughs> yeah, toots. Positive. How about a nap now? Get her out of those robes and into some peasant clothing. I don't want her profaning our order when the Contus take her. I will be back shortly. Miss Hood, wake up. I need you to step behind that divider and put these on. Miss Hood! Okay, in Quirrell's name, there is no need to shout. Did you bury someone in these rags? They stink like death. Mother Superior, you seem supremely concerned. You do not know the half of it. Who is Dame Gothel? This is for the Contus to address, not us. Just be sure Hood is ready to go when they get here. I'm not feeling so well. Oh, maybe you both should step back. My sword, this is impossible. You have enough dream bloom in you to- Spoken by a woman who's never had goblin brother Moonshine. Now why don't we just walk to the door? What is that mark on your wrist? Nice try, Jizzy. I mean it. You have a brand. No, that's a birthmark. That is a Contus brand. Whatever. Mother Superior, get the grimoires for me. If you're not back in five minutes, I'm going to cut little Gisela. And then what? Excuse me? After you cut her, what will you do? 
Will you kill her? And then what? You'll have nothing left to bargain with. And you'll be burned at the stake. I will cut her right now. <gasps> Go ahead. Cut her. Every sister of Wilja is dedicated to protecting knowledge from barbarians. We will give our lives to this cause. Are you kidding me? No. You kill her, then me. Are you prepared to fight a library full of nuns? And the contus guards outside? Just how hardy are the women where you come from? But that brand on your wrist tells me you've been here before. That's crazy. I've never heard of this place until a few days ago. Maybe you just don't remember. Oh, I'd remember this place. Creepy woods, bears who are trained to live in houses, nuns who worship intelligence and drug their guests. You are hardly a guest. You're missing the point. I've never been here. Yet you bear the brand of the wolf rider. What in Gretel's name are you talking about? Don't you see the wolf's head fountain pen? Are you really playing? What does Scarlet's birthmark look like? You need to get moving, Mother Superior. Enough. Brawling like common street thugs in my office. Miss Hood, sit in that chair. Gisela, secure her wrists. Go get the Contu sergeant at arms. Tell him we have a mystic in our midst. Fly now. That rabbit about done? Just about. Where's the owl? Dunno. Doesn't all this seem a little queer to you? Talking owls and magic brooches that light fires? A little. How did she get fire out of this little thing? I don't know. But maybe you should stop tinkering with it until she gets back. It's witchcraft. There's something unholy about all this. <laughs> unholy? Sounds like the owl is back. In time for dinner. Well, he's not getting any of my rabbit. I don't think you have to worry about that. He likes his carrion raw and squirming. None of this is holy. We're highwaymen, Baldwin. Nothing we do is holy. We don't practice dark arts or consort with witches familiars. Run! Soldiers of the front from the west! What happened to you? Arrows! I was circling a herd of fawns trying to pick the forest when an arrow hit my chest. Luckily, it was shot from a distance so it was weak by the time it hit me. I was able to escape without taking any of their quills. You might want to look at your, um, bottom. What? Oh! Wonderful! Three of them? You need to get out of here because they are close as the breeze. Why are they coming out here? Really? You hillbillies are dumber than the ground you walk on. The thief gave you up, probably to save herself. Scarlet would never do that. Well, they are coming. I'm going. Wait. He could have given us a lift. Let's grab some guns and bows and... What are you doing? If we can get this brooch to work, we can hold them off. There. In the sky. Fire at the owl. If I, I can flip this... I'm hit. No! Drop the brooch! They're throwing fire. Duck! I've got a clean shot. Take it. There's another one running toward the device. Kill him. He's almost in sight. The owl is carrying him away. Give chase, men. Don't let that foul beast out of your sight. Put me down! Why? So you can die like your brother? You're not going to be useful to the thief if you're dead. You're tearing my shoulders apart. Stop whining. I've got five arrows in my posterior. Where are you taking me? Out of range. They won't be able to keep up with me. And given the forest fire your brother just set, they will give up the chase soon. But where are we going? Are you stupid? If they are here, it means they've captured the thief. We're going somewhere to heal. Then you're going to the castle and get those grimoires. What about Scarlet? What about her? I 
don't care about her, but I want those books! That was The Adventures of Scarlet Hood, created and written by Tony Sarekia, starring Robin Candelaria as Scarlet Hood. Also in the cast were William Mask as Evan, John Fraser as Baldwin, Claudia Cimini as Mother Superior, Michelle Stahl as Gisela, Ry Nessel as Owl Sylvester, Beth Greaterex as Sister Thomasina, Dave Anderson as Graves, Brian Grote as Sergeant, Bob Helling as Soldier No. 1. I'm your announcer, Ann Bodle Nash. Theme music by Ryan Lessard. Sound design and dialogue editing, Jay Charles. Produced and directed by Joseph C. McGuire. Financial support comes from the Rick Epting Foundation, Kim Abbey, and members of the RTP Repertory Company. This is a Radio Theater Project presentation. Sonic Summerstock Playhouse is on the air! Exclusively on Mutual, the Summerstock Playhouse is an annual celebration of old-time radio remakes by modern-day audio drama producers, each putting their own special spin on a classic program. Don't miss a single episode, Sundays in July and August, only on Mutual. Better living through audio.